Well, hello, friends and family, and welcome to Jim's In Town Gardening and also Bella's Legacy Rabbitry. So, Leanna is behind the camera. That's where she likes to be. She don't like to be in the camera. Um, so, today's Memorial Day. Um, you're going to be seeing this tomorrow. Um, and what I'm doing is our rabbits for sale. Now, there's two reasons why I want to do that. I know some of you have really enjoyed watching the bunnies that we have for sale, but also because there's a, a few swap places that I um, sell our rabbits on, um, they've enjoyed being able to watch the videos, seeing the rabbits. It, you know, you can get a lot more out of a rabbit watching a video than you can out of a picture. Leanna's nodding her head, yes. It, it's true. Um, you guys get to see what they're like. You know, you can snap a picture and then 10 seconds later that animal is just going berserk. This way you get to see the interaction with with the babies. So, I have got Peter. This is Peter Rabbit. And Leanna just, uh, just named him. Now, for those that remembered uh, last winter-ish, can't remember her, she had these... January 31st. January 31st. Um, beautiful, beautiful bunny she had. Um, we sold the last girl uh, this past week. Um, went to a good home. Um, they bought her. They bought a silver um, rabbit from, I'm trying to think, baby's litter, I believe. Uh, no, Daisy's litter. Who's the other one? Oh, and then they bought one of uh, Layla's litter, which Layla and a New Zealand White. Um, they got some beautiful, beautiful rabbits. So anyways, this is the last one that I have from Lily and Tommy. And part of me wants to keep this little boy. And the reason why is because of Tommy. Tommy was one that I had raised from mocha and blue um and he was just a gorgeous gorgeous boy blue? uh <laughs> i keep saying blue blue no it was mocha and smoky both uh rexes um both nice rabbits uh, Tommy, if any of you remember in the fall and part of the summer, I had him on my lap and he would pose and he was just perfect shape. He was, he could have been a show rabbit. This is the last that I'll have of that combination. Um, and he's a nice boy. He's a good boy. He's pretty quiet. Um, Leanna says he's just like sugar. He does this thing about when you're out here, he choose of the at the cage wanting to be pet so anyways i have him um again his date was january 31st, january 31st. this would have been uh, lily and tommy gorgeous boy so if you give me just a minute i am going to bring out layla's babies now layla is a new uh, is a lavender rex bred to only because at that time I didn't really have anybody that I could use. Um, speaking about blue, you're wasting hay, big boy. <laughs> um, I didn't have a rex that I wanted to use on her, um, so I ended up going with my New Zealand white. Now, these are going to be good sized babies, um, so give me just a minute. Nice, sweetie. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's one of uh, Layla's babies. I have loved the head on this one right from the get. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful head. So she was born March 15th. Um, this is Layla, who is a lavender uh, rex. Bred to Buster, who is my big uh, New Zealand white buck. Um, solid. I mean, 
solid, solid, solid. Let me look at the camera. So these guys are, mm, that was my lip, honey. Mm. That was my lip you got. These are going to go outside in uh, cages tomorrow. Um, so they can get some fresh air. They can get onto some grass. Um, I've got five. I don't know if I'm bleeding or not. Um, I am on my arm. I've got five that are out there right now. I'm not going to show you today because it's raining. And we much need the rain. Um, but it will do them a lot of good. It will give them a little bit of grass. I know some people um, that have been buying are having them out doing the same way that I am. Um, they're in cages, um, screwing a, uh, a two by two or two by three on the bottom of the cage just to keep that cage floor off the ground. Um, but it allows some of that grass to grow up. I've quite a few that have bought from me. Uh, that's what they're starting to do. Um, they're kind of like me. They're not into the colony. Um, I, I just don't have good feelings about the colony. Um, there's just too many things about it um, that I don't like. Um, but you know, those who do that and it, it works for you, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, anyway, so here's a little girl. Give me just a minute and I'm going to, let's see, we got... I think three white ones left and a black one left. So give me just a minute and I'll grab one of the other ones. Hi, sweetie. Oh, you good girl. Yeah. They're good. Okay, so we'll just check this one. We've got a little girl. I checked these back a while ago. In fact, uh, I had done a video. Um, this was probably two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and I don't remember what I had in there. Um, a lot going on that day, and um, I went off on a few things that had been bothering me <laughs> in the video that shouldn't have been in the video, and I just decided I wasn't going to put it in there. It had nothing to do with YouTube or anybody on, on the video, but um, anyways, I decided not to do that. Anyways, I don't remember what I had. So anyways, we've got a little girl here. Easy, honey. You can go with your sister in a minute. So, give me a minute and I'll get one of the next ones. Okay, good girl. Okay, so this one's a little boy. So, so far we're up to two girls and a boy. He's going to be a stocky one. You know, Leanna was just pointing the uh, little chestnut girl. She so, looks just like the one on the on the bag. She's a model. I don't know if you can see that in the camera now. Okay, so next we have either a white one or a black one. Let's see who's the easiest. Okay, so this one's a girl. So Layla's pulling the sugar. She's doing mostly girls. Sugar is typically one who I got blood on you, honey. I'm sorry. Um, sugar is one that typically has mostly girls. So she's a pretty little girl. So we've got a black one left. So if you give me just a minute, you know. People see my arms at times and they'll see that I get scratched. This is, you know, if I was to do the grabbing of the neck, you know, the scruff of the neck like a lot of rabbitries do, I wouldn't get quite as scratched up. Um, it's not as hard in a 30 by 30, but the 30 by 36 is when I'm reaching in all the way to that back corner, it's quite a reach. And what I try to do is, you know, bring them around to a corner and I lift here. Um, and a lot of times when I get them off the ground, that's when I get this. Um, that and a lot of times at this age on the sexing um, is when I'm going to get the scratch. And these guys have not had the nails trimmed yet. 
Usually I do that just before they go. So give me a minute and I'll bring the little black one. And I think the black one is a girl. I'm not, I'm not perfectly certain of that, but it seemed like that would have been the first girl that we had. No, it actually would be the second. It's a layless. So give me just a minute. Okay, so Leanna was right on that. She said, now I think this is a little boy. And yes, he's a little boy. I thought it was a little girl. So what do we end up with? Three and, uh, two boys and three girls. Two boys and three girls. Now this one, almost from the time that it came out of the nest box, was one of the friendliest. Um, pretty little boy. We've got a gorgeous boy, and he's big outside. Um, that would have been, I believe, December 31st. It would have been uh, from Mandy, our uh, big, our big Rex doe bred to Smokey, and he is big, he's a big boy, and young, I mean, for his age, he's a beautiful boy, and also, out of that litter, we have uh, a chestnut, who's pretty, and we've got the tortoise out of that litter, some of you that have been watching during the winter, you probably remember, um, and then I have one of Daisy's silver uh, bucks left. So, okay, welcome back. We got them all situated, separated, and, um, and I need to do some separation in this group too. It's there's quite a few in that one cage. So, anyways, we're gonna see how well I sexed back when they were, I think, five weeks old. I think it was five weeks old when I said that we had one boy out of that group. Now I know I sold a girl. Um, and the first one we got a hold of is a boy. So this may be the only boy and he is a beautiful boy. Beautiful head, um, nice shaped, nice shaped. So, I'm gonna put him down here for now, and we'll see what we got. Now, these guys were born March 16th. March 16th. These are Mocha's babies. Mocha's up on top, um, bred to. She's the chocolate dough, chocolate Rex, bred to our chocolate red uh, Rex buck, um, Adrian. And we got all chocolates other than one who is a lavender and that's beautiful i think dough <laughs> all right see that there you go just for a few minutes yeah just for a few minutes okay okay so the third one's a little girl i'm hoping the rest are all little girls she's a pretty baby i love the white in her ears her the white in there is so white I don't know how well you can see. She says, I don't know what's going on. Every time somebody handles us like this, we go. We don't see them again. Look how white. I can separate that. Hopefully you saw it. Hold on. Hold on. So, she's a little girl. Okay, honey. Okay, I'm going to put you down here for now. Watch your feet. That'll be... Okay, this is the importance of checking. And this is why I like to check before I before I sell. This is a boy. So right now we are down to three boys and a girl. I think these guys were right around the five week mark. Maybe it was six. Um so hard to tell. You know I know different uh, rabbit breeders, ones who do showing all the time. You know, they brought a, a young animal to the show table and went in front of a judge and it wasn't what it was supposed to be. I mean, it happens. It happens. 
do that. So this is a little boy. And really need his fur. I don't know how well it's gonna show there. You know, he's got the chocolate, but when you go like that, hopefully that's showing on the camera. With the gray. Really neat. So I'm gonna put him. Okay, so we've got a solid chocolate. And she's a girl. She definitely is a girl. And she's definitely a pretty girl. You know, I'm thinking back when uh, Leanne and I did the sexing of these. Uh, I knew we had one, and it was one that I kind of questioned. Um, but it is what it is. So, we're going to put her down here for the time being. So this one's a little girl, a little chocolate otter. Come a lip. <laughs> oh, easy, baby. Easy, honey. Easy. Oh, easy, easy. Easy, easy. You know, the last two, three weeks, I don't, I haven't spent, I mean, I spend a lot of time even still with these guys, but you can tell the difference. They, you know, when we're feeding them, when usually in the afternoon I come out and check hay, that's usually when I feed the hay. Um, you know, we rub their heads and, you know, just kind of talk to them. Um, don't take them out of the cage. And, but anyways, you go that time and not spending and you can see, I mean, <laughs> I'm all caught up and we do not have wild rabbits. Um, huh. So, I have got one more, um, I've got the lavender, uh, lavender otter left, um, beautiful girl right here, she's a beauty, so I'll be right with you, okay, so we got quite the combination going on here, we got our fourth boy, so she ended up having four boys, four girls. Yeah. Four boys, four girls. This is a beautiful boy. This is a beautiful boy. Beautiful, beautiful boy. So that uh, that kind of changes changes the plan on what I was hoping to do. So, um, I know this video is, even with the editing, this is going to be a fairly lengthy video. Um, so what I'm going to try to do in the next two, three days, I've got um, three more babies that I can show you. They're not going to be eight weeks until the third. So, um, at some point this, this week, I will do a video on that one. I'll sex them. Um, and I'll add those uh, to the list. So, hope, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully Leanna did a, a good job on the, uh, the videoing. This is new to her. She's done it a couple times. Um, you know, I know a lot of you, you're not in Maine. Um, it'll be hard for you to, you know, even if you're interested in um, you know, I've, I have had quite a few in the last, the last two videos on the rabbits for sale. Um, I know one was from Florida. I think another one was New York. Um, I do not, nor will I ship my animals on plane or any other way. Uh, I'm just not going to do it. It's... I don't make enough on these rabbits to do that. Um, I'm not in this as a business, business, if you will. This is a hobby. Um, you know, if somebody wants to travel all the way up to Maine and look at them, um, that's awesome. Um, 
you know, what I do with, on the, the videos that go on for Tuesday with the rabbits for sale. Um, you know, it does give me the option to leave in some of the platforms that I can list these guys um, where they can see videos. I don't think Uncle Henry will let me do that. Um, in fact, I may be dropping Uncle Henry's altogether. Um, I won't even get into that. But anyways, it gives the people a chance to see the rabbits. Um, but it, for my friends in Delaware and Alabama and Missouri and... Um, I, I've got some really uh, great followers, um, strong supporters from Canada who have just been awesome. Um, it gives you a chance to see some beautiful rabbits. Um, you know, so it's kind of a twofold thing. So, in saying that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you saw some beautiful guys. Um, you know, if you're getting ready to get into rabbits um you know rex is you know i wish you could just reach out on that camera and feel what this feels like i mean it is so soft you just can't believe how soft it is we had a couple here that bought three rabbits and i had them reach in and uh pet mandy and mocha you know who are, are full rexes and they just couldn't believe how soft you, you just can't you can't believe until you fe um, felt them you know, your New Zealands, the uh, the Californians. I got one chewing on my pant leg to the cage. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, they're soft, but until you feel this, it's just not going to... So anyways, friends, um, hope you have a blessed week. Um, this is Labor Day Monday. Um, when I'm recording this, this is going to go on Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Um, um, raining here. Actually, I think the sun's coming out now, finally. But we needed rain. We needed rain desperately. Um, love you guys. God bless you.